So you wanna buy your dream home in Tampa Bay where we get endless sunshine and have access to award-winning beaches like Clearwater Beach and St. Pete Beach, but you don't wanna have any unforeseen problems derail your Gulf Coast dreams. From housing issues to logistical nightmares, relocating is super stressful without the right preparation. So don't worry, today I'm gonna to show you how to move to Tampa Bay smartly. And if you're wondering who I am and how I know how to get you here, my name is Juan Alcala and just about six years ago, my wife Kate and I sold almost everything we owned, packed up our family of five, moved 1,200 miles south here to the greater Tampa Bay area and have been loving it ever since. We've also helped about 100 families do the exact same thing. Now, our personal journey has definitely come with some challenges that I don't want you to face. And as a matter of fact, I've shared those on this channel. But because of those, I know that I can help you make the move smartly. Now, there's no denying that Tampa Bay has become one of the most popular relocation destinations over the last five years for people who prefer sunny weather and a vibrant lifestyle. However, moving here smartly requires making informed decisions, understanding the area and the pitfalls, and planning every step of the way. So today, we're going to build you sort of a roadmap to relocate into Tampa with confidence. So the first thing you're going to want to do is start with your neighborhood research. And the fact that you're watching this video tells me that you're already doing diligence, which is awesome. But the thing I need you to understand is you can get four walls and a roof anywhere in the country. And that's not what I would consider the highlight of calling a place home, because to be honest with you, you know, I, I've been selling real estate for 12 years. And here's what I've learned over that time. If, if I handed a couple, gave each one of them three million bucks and said, design your dream home. And we took that house and we put it in the wrong community, eventually they'd hate the house, if not right away, right? They, they would hate the community they lived in. It, it would just be a bad situation. But if you find the right home in the, in the best community, the one that matches your ideal lifestyle, you are bound to have success. And this is something that we've experienced. I got to tell you guys, we were so fortunate to end up in the neighborhood that we live in. And that happened because the person who was guiding me to the area knew it like the back of their hand. They knew street to street, neighborhood to neighborhood. And sometimes this can be very difficult to do online, but there are plenty of resources like myself, like other channels like this that guide you to um, great areas that, that focus on safety and have quality education and real, real nice amenities. So when it comes to doing your homework, make sure you're digging in. We've got great areas like St. Petersburg and there's really crappy areas in St. Pete too that you got to be aware of. You know, we've got, you know, we have incredible suburbs like Wesley Chapel and Lando Lakes and uh, Riverview and Brandon and, and Parrish, Florida and so many different areas that offer different types of lifestyles depending on what you're trying to accomplish. Are you a beach baby or are you someone who prefers to be away from the coast? Um, that way you're not at risk. Well, not at as high risk for you know coastal weather and inclement weather and these are things you really need to take consideration before you decide to make that move the second thing you're going to want to do is make sure that you have at least a general understanding of what's happening with the tampa bay housing market because our market is different than where you live currently if you're relocating um, it, there's going to be some similarities probably there's probably a lot of nuance when it comes to the area you live versus living here and you you know that those nuances come in the form of housing they come in the form of insurance they come in the form of taxes things like cdd fees hoa fees um you know what type of community do you want to live in are you planning on uh you know owning a boat here are you do you want a boat slip do you, are you going to put your boat in a marina um you know all of these things matter when it comes to you know the market that you're going to choose because you know just because one area or one city may not be going gangbusters here in the tampa Bay Area. We have other areas that are growing five, six, seven, eight percent still year over year in terms of their housing values. That is nuanced, and you really need to have an understanding of that, right? I can give you general statistics about what the greater Tampa Bay area real estate looks like, but the reality of this is remember, we're community shopping first. What is the most important thing for me and my lifestyle? That is the areas I want to focus on. All right, now I need to know what my budget is. Do those areas fit into it? If not, what other areas 
fit similar lifestyle into this budget. That's really what you're looking to do. So when you're doing your homework, there are great sites out there. Redfin is one of them. I'm gonna put a link below um, and in there, I'll put it directly to the Tampa Bay market. And I, I don't wanna give you a specific number today. When I looked last week, it was right around $445,000 for the median sales price. Well, median and average are different. And you know we have home prices that you know range all the way down from 60 or $70,000 for a manufactured home to well into, there's a lot for sale um, on Davis Islands right now for $15 million. I mean, that's a lot. There's no home on it. So coastal real estate can get very expensive. Suburban real estate obviously is different, but you want to do your homework. And until you know what communities best suit your lifestyle, that can be a little bit challenging. So my encouragement is if you're gonna go through this process, make sure you start with what areas match my ideal lifestyle first and then that'll allow you now to say okay here's our budget here's what we're working with out of this what areas right fall into that we can put that bucket together now what are the things i need to look out for you know are we buying a new construction versus a resale um, did you know that the cost of ownership on a new construction in the tampa bay area is usually much lower than a uh, previously owned home um, did you know that they're offering tremendous discounts on new construction properties versus resale homes you can look at two prices one new construction and then one resale but what you don't see is the new construction is is offering a four percent interest rate or five percent interest rate versus a seven which is what you get on a, a traditional mortgage right now they're offering maybe twenty thousand dollars or thirty thousand dollars in seller paid closing costs meaning that they'll contribute to your closing costs and paying for your real estate agent these are things that you need to do homework on so make sure you're dialing this in so step one make sure you you're, you're looking at neighborhoods and the communities that most ideally match your lifestyle step two make sure you have a general working knowledge of the greater Tampa Bay real estate. How long is it taking properties to sell? What can I expect to pay for a four bedroom, three bath generally in the area? These are the kind of things you wanna um, really dig into until you start to refine that search. Okay, so the third thing I want you to prepare for is Florida's weather, okay? Now, I know everybody and their brother makes videos like this and we talk about our weather. We have pros and cons, and that happens everywhere. I'm originally from Detroit, Michigan. Um, our summers were incredible, right? Not too hot, um, cool nights, you could have a fire, it was amazing, um, but they only lasted approximately 16 weeks, and then it felt like we went right back to winter. It was cold, gray, and, and damp and dreary all the time. So for that small season i was a boat owner i remember this man like it, it never failed that it felt like it was going to rain every single weekend when i owned a boat and i only got that thing on the water probably six times a summer and that was the reality of it you know and having incredible summers like that um, and exchanging them for gray and dreary just wasn't something that we wanted to deal with anymore and that's what brought us here to the area but i also understood through my research and i have family who has lived in in florida for 25 years uh, my in-laws uh, that we were going to face some challenges you know we were going to face challenges from hurricanes especially if we we're going to live coastal where we do y'all we're just a little over a mile and a half away from the beach approximately um, and if you just saw our last video i showed you a, a an intimate <laughs> video of our home where we had to tear out the floors because we got water during Hurricane Milton. And, um, you know, it wasn't from storm surge, it was from all the rain. Now, I also shared with you that we've moved over 100 people here to the greater Tampa Bay area, and I'm blessed to report that out of all of them, not a single one of them called me and said, Juan, our home flooded. Okay, so we put them in good situations. Ours flooded for a different reason. I'm gonna share our journey with you guys on the channel here about how, how we got wet, water mitigation, and those types of things too. But these are things that I don't want to have happen to anyone, okay? Not just our clients, anyone. If you're gonna to move to the area, make sure you're doing your homework. Make sure you're looking at things like elevation records. Unless you can afford to buy a coastal home and have it completely damaged from the storm where you have to tear out the entire insides down to the studs and then rebuild it, um, be very careful. Make sure that you're, you, you have a good insurance policy. Make sure that insurance policy covers everything, including flood. We're not in a flood zone. Flood zone X is the, the zone that doesn't require it. But y'all, if I would have had a, a few hundred dollar policy, they may have covered it. I'm not guaranteeing that. Insurance is insurance.
But you wanna look for things like flood zone X because that is the least likely to get flooded. You wanna make sure that the home is newer, the roof is newer. You wanna make sure that you have good quality windows. There's a lot of different contributing factors here. You know, your energy costs can go through the roof if you don't have a newer AC or one that runs efficiently. If you've got old windows like a lot of homes in Florida do, so you gotta keep these things in mind when you're looking at the area. This is why so many people have been choosing new construction homes because a lot of these newer homes are built well above the floodplain. They are out in the suburban areas, like areas like Wesley Chapel and San Antonio. Those are the hurricane evacuation areas. Like they take people from us that live near the coast and put them out there to be, you know, um, as safe as we can possibly be from these storms. So they're building a lot of homes out in these areas and they're, all, they're some of the highest construction standards in the country. So I just want to make sure that I'm sharing this with you because, you know, it's going to be warm eight months out of the year and warm is relative. People, some people say it's hot if it's over 80 degrees. I personally, <laughs> I start putting on, uh, you know, more layers as soon as the temperature gets right around 75 because my skin has gotten real thin and a lot of Floridians do. But there are some people who just don't want hot weather at all. I don't know why you'd ever move to Florida if you don't want to have hot or warm weather all the time. That's what we get here. Um, January, we do get some cool nights. We can get down into the 30s. It, it does happen. It's very rare. And winter usually lasts about three weeks and then we go right back into a very short spring and then right back into summer junior and then back into summer senior <laughs> where it gets pretty hot. And I've shared a lot of this stuff. And again, Florida weather is out there. You know, look at the city you're considering, look at their average temperatures and it'll give you a pretty good gauge. Here's what you need to know. From May all the way through October, it's going to be either hot or warm, guaranteed. Okay, um, from the end of October into probably March, April, it's incredible. Okay, so four or five months, the, the weather's amazing, um, or seven to eight months, it's gonna be hot. You know, it's just, just, just the reality of living here in Florida. So the third thing I wanna make sure that you're aware of is that you prepare for Florida's climate. That's what you need to know. And the sun is here all the time. Over 250 days of sunshine, y'all, it's incredible. Before we get to the next spot on our roadmap, I'm curious to know where you're watching from and if you're considering making the move here. Also, if you already live here and relocated from a different area, let us know where you relocated from and what city you're in now and would you recommend it? I think that would be super helpful for the viewers and for anyone watching. Comment section is a great place. You get a lot of insights down there. There's also gonna be a lot of trolling, keep that in mind. Uh, but again, I would look to speak to people who have relocated to the area from other places and what do they love? What areas are they interested in? Let us know in the comments down below. And the next stop on our roadmap here is make sure that you explore job opportunities. Make sure you get good offers. Make sure you get something that works for you and your family. Uh, because contrary to popular belief, you know, Tampa Bay's economy is very diverse. It's not just about tourism. We had about 16 and a half million tourists come last year, um, and that's wonderful, but we're really being driven by healthcare and biotech and um, technology in general. A lot of cybersecurity, um, I've taken a lot of phone calls and a lot of Zoom calls with uh, clients who are relocated in the area that are in tech fields or in finance. Um, but here's what I need you to know. Um, pay varies wildly, okay, depending on where you're at. Now, Tampa Bay was ranked number two, the number two city in the country uh, for jobs in 2024. And we ranked really high last year as well. But you wanna make sure you do your homework because if you live in an area where the cost of living is super high, like let's just say Denver, for example, or San Diego, or Seattle, or Massachusetts, Boston, for example, the cost of living there is extremely high and their salaries tend to be higher for the same roles here in Florida. Um, so it's not always apples to apples. Our cost of living is lower than those areas I just mentioned, but I don't know if it's you know significantly more or less only you do because what you bring in every single week and every month is what determines how much money you can spend and what is comfortable to you you know how does your lifestyle feel there's a great tool that i love to use it's called the the forbes cost of living calculator this is awesome it allows you to, to enter the city you currently live in how much money you're bringing home annually versus the city you're considering relocating to and it'll tell you how your money spends and that's an awesome tool um, especially if you're trying to size up job offers and cost of living here. Um, so I just want to make sure that you have an understanding of that because uh, again, 
jobs and employment you know getting a good job offer is not just about you know the salary it's about how what your drive time going to look like um, the quality of life you're going to have and, and a lot of other factors and i know you know this already but i just want to make sure that we're putting this on your roadmap you're doing your due diligence that way you're making a qualified decision when you're ready to make that move all right now i want you to get to know tampa bay's lifestyle and that is going to mean a lot of different things to a lot of different people but here's what we're known for we're known for our beaches like clearwater beach saint pete beach treasure island incredible beaches like that we're known for art and culture in saint petersburg like the dolly museum and the tampa museum of art the Strauss center there's so many different things you can do here in the area we've got incredible bmx bike areas which i didn't know until i really started exploring the area like out in lithia We've got incredible outdoor activities from kayaking to boating, obviously. You can do parasailing and um, paddle boarding and, and uh, kite surfing and <laughs> golfing, and bike riding. We've got incredible BMX trails. There's like in a great trail out by Lithia. Um, there's just all these different things that you can plug into. And on top of that, you've got all the family friendly attractions like Bush Garden, the Florida Aquarium, the Tampa Zoo, uh, Clearwater Aquarium, which unfortunately was damaged during the hurricane. Um, keep you guys up to date on that but I could spend an hour on a video walking you guys through all the things that you can do here um, not to mention you know Disney's a short drive away depending on the day you can get there in as little as an hour and a half depending on where you live in the Tampa Bay area um, to as much as two and a half hours but I just got back from a, a three-day um, Universal tour in uh, Disney Springs and it was wonderful I took my daughter out there for her birthday um, it was a welcome reprieve from the renovations in our home from the hurricane damage that we had. And like I said, if you haven't seen that, um, I'll link that video down below so you guys can kind of get an understanding of, of what we've experienced. I want to keep you out of those pitfalls. Remember, that's the goal of this video. But there's so many different activities. We've got incredible um, outdoor sports all year round. Our kids are playing football now outdoors. They're going to start playing soccer here in a second. They're going to play baseball all winter. That's why we moved here is to get outside and live outdoors, see the sun. We didn't have to be stuck in gray. And I that may not be your goal but man there are so many different types of lifestyle and lifestyle options here in the greater Tampa Bay area you're gonna love it now the sixth thing I want you to do is start to plan this move smartly okay the first thing you're gonna want to start to do at home is start decluttering your house get rid of that junk you're not gonna move it all down here um, trust me it gets expensive to move um, and a lot of the times when you start you know moving out of a house y'all you you find a lot of stuff you haven't used in a year now I'm not telling anybody how to live but uh, Kate and I have approached it this way if we put something in a box and we don't open that in a year it gets tossed and um, that may not be your vibe and I completely understand but that's a good way to approach it and just to be honest with you let's be real almost everybody has a bunch of stuff in their home that they're not going to use ever again and most likely don't need to move so declutter declutter <laughs> all right the second thing I encourage you to do is hire a professional mover I know no one likes paying for a moving service but I'm telling you right now moving is difficult moving sucks to be quite frank <laughs> I don't know anybody that likes the act of moving you know boxing all your stuff up putting it in boxes you know making sure it doesn't break labeling every box did you know you can hire people to do that and it's really not that expensive I'm not saying it's cheap but for what you get I believe there's a ton of value you get to save your back you you might get to save your relationship because I know that can be very difficult on people um, your kids will like you more if that's the <laughs> that's the the path as well and to be honest with you it's just stressful and it wears people out so if you can if you have the resources I encourage you to hire a professional mover make sure you look into it because I'm telling you right now you're gonna be surprised at the actual prices of it at a minimum get a pod or something um, if you have to go U-Haul God bless you I understand be kind to each other be kind to your friends make sure you buy them pizza and beer whatever it takes get as many hands as you can to come help you because it is a lot of work okay number three I want you on this list is I want to make sure that you time your move okay moving in the winter um, and in, in the winter months up north is difficult if you're considering buying a new home down here you've got to wait on them to deliver that to you um, there are 
projections and plans. Um, you wanna try to line those up as much as possible. You can sell a home somewhere else and then buy elsewhere as well. We get that question a lot. How do I sell my home that I live in and buy a home somewhere else? Um, we can help you through that process as well. There is a, a proven plat, uh, path for that so you don't have to be homeless. There's also short-term rentals. A lot of people will get an Airbnb for two months or they'll get like a three or six month rental in Florida. Those are abundant here versus other areas in the country. So know that you do and um, will have access to those types of things as well. And then make sure that you understand your, you, um, who your utility providers are gonna be early, um, early ahead of time. Um, the biggest one is internet, man. This is the one that messes people up. I work, you know, I stream videos. Um, every Tuesday I do a live stream here. Um, so internet is super important to me and more and more of my clients are working, um, if not fully remote, at least partially remote, and they've gotta have quality internet. And Tampa Bay has a couple different, well, they have a few, but there are two really big ones. You've got Spectrum, which I would say does a decent job. I'm not gonna bag on any company, but if you have the option to get a uh, uh, Frontier that, and they offer fiber where you live, get it. Our internet just hauls behind it. It's incredible. Uh, we can have all the devices. The kids all have, will have iPads. The computers are going. We're streaming uh, you know, a show or something and our internet doesn't get affected. So make sure you're planning all these details. Um, if you need a list of those things, don't hesitate to reach out to me. Put it in the comment or send me an email. Hey Juan, I'd love your list of preparing to move and I'd be happy to share that with you. So what happens when you actually relocate to Florida? The next thing we need you to do is adjust to Florida living. I want to just share this with you because here's what you need to know. Um, not everybody loves the fact that you're relocating to the area. However, there are going to be a lot of incredible people that you meet who are extremely welcoming, who are inviting, uh, just like our experience, and I'll share that with you here, okay? Um, within the first probably 60 days of us moving here, um, we met a majority of our neighbors, and where I live, that was not normal. People would come home at oh dark 30 in their garage, close the door, and we basically would never see anybody again. But the day we arrived here, uh, four families knocked on our door and said, hello, pleasure to meet you if you need anything we're here now I know some people are looking at that like that's weird but it's not that's called being neighborly it's called being friendly and we were grateful for that because we didn't know anybody when we moved to the greater Tampa Bay area and I mean no one <laughs> and then later like two weeks later I discovered that um, someone who I used to work with at a restaurant um, 10 years prior to that lived in St. Pete so I discovered that I, I knew one person, but we didn't know anybody, guys. And one of our biggest fears as a family is who are, are we gonna hang out with? You know, we homeschool our kids. Um, you know, we needed to make connections so we can make sure that they're they're getting social interaction. But us as adults, my wife and I, we, we wanna have friends. We wanna have a social life too. We're not out all the time, but we definitely don't wanna be in an environment where we don't feel welcome or loved so yeah, that was super important to us and we got invites to the beach and we got incredible recommendations about places to go eat and places to go hang out and parks to take the kids man and it was amazing so make sure you're meeting your neighbors the other thing i want you to remember is make sure you register your vehicle florida requires new residents to register their license within 30 days of moving here um, there's no cops that are coming get, gonna come get you if you don't um, but i encourage you to do that um, join local groups man get involved uh, get involved in the community, get down to the beach. Uh, you know, there's skimboarding classes for the kids. There's all kinds of sports. Uh, we've got pickleball for the adult. Uh, like that has just taken over the country. I know that's not anything new new to, to, to you, but for us, we wanted to be by the beach. We would go down to the beach for sunsets almost every night. There was a day when I remember going down there, it was raining, but it was one of those weird Florida rains where it's dark behind you and the sun is setting in front of you. <laughs> so I still went down to the beach, got wet and got to see a sunset, it was incredible. Um, but We've met so many wonderful people and families at the beaches, at the restaurants, at the park. So my encouragement is that you just get adjusted to Florida life as quickly as you can because you're going to be able to really take advantage of everything it has to offer. And if you are considering making that move and you have more questions, don't hesitate to reach out to me and my team. All of my contact information is down below. There's even a link to my calendar so you can schedule a time that is most convenient for you. Be happy to jump on a Zoom call with you. I'll open up Google Maps walk you through the area, make sure you don't step on any landmines, make sure that you guys have a great, 
great relocation experience. And uh, as always, y'all, thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to let us know where you're watching from down below. And as I say every single time, go out and live that Tampa life.